a Chilean tradition, Socialist President Michelle Bachelet visited Sebastián Piñera the day after his election to offer her full cooperation in the transition, just as the former president had done four years ago after she was elected. Putting on a brave face, Bachelet is leaving Chile in the hands of the same conservative. No, yo he hecho siempre soy una demócrata. I am a Democrat, and I have said that I will hand over my presidential sash to whomever is elected. Democracy is democracy. The news was welcomed by the markets. The billionaire businessman's victory boosted the Chilean currency and the local stock exchange. At Santiago's fruit and vegetable market, most say it's Piñera's close ties to big business that convinced them to vote for him. As he says, there'll be better times ahead. Business has been stagnant these last four years, and so a change is good. But not everyone believes Piñera will put their interests first. How could people have voted for a thief? for a man who will be governed by the whims of big business. Back at home, the president-elect also received the national and foreign press. While his foreign policy will differ little, his domestic priority will be to halt many of Bachelet's structural and social reforms. We are going to recover the leadership and dynamism of our economy, and that starts by restoring growth and re-establishing investor confidence, which used to grow by more than 10% a year when I was last president. He then went in to receive more congratulatory phone calls, mainly from like-minded Latin American leaders. Piñera's election clearly consolidating the region's shift from the left to the political right. With the nice cities over, now comes the hard part. Sebastián Piñera will have to walk a fine line, appeasing his conservative political base, while at the same time assuring those who did not vote for him that it will not come at their expense. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Santiago.